Hi everyone, this is Natasha from the customer success team at Action Step here. And I just wanted to take you through um, Zapier. For those of you who have never heard of Zapier, Zapier works as a connector. So it connects applications to each other. So where we talk about automation and automating our workflows, Zapier helps us to connect one application to another. Now, when we work on Zaps, what we're looking at doing is creating triggers and then actions. So a trigger would be an event that causes something else to happen. So for example, in this app, we have a trigger, which is when we create a new contact in action step, that contact is actually replicated in different applications. So Outlook, MailChimp, Zero. And the reason for this is so that we're not double entering all the time, all that information, but also the sky's really the limit. You can think about how this would help in other areas. So I'm just gonna go through some really basic zaps that I've set up. I'm not gonna take you through exactly how to set up zaps, but just showing you what they can do so that that's in your mind when you're thinking about why can't we do this when this happens? and maybe Zapier will help you with that. So I've set up a, through zap, a few zaps here. We have um, contact updating. So when we put something into action step, that contact actually replicates across different applications. I've also got where we create an email from Outlook on a step change. And when we create a matter and maybe we add a file note, that that creates a Teams channel and also a post in Teams. So I'm just gonna take you through that now to show you how that works. So I'm going to create a contact in my test system. And we're gonna have Mark Brown. Okay, I'm going to put in his email address. And an address quickly. I'll say it's the same as a physical. Okay, we're going to save that down. Then we're going to create a matter. I'm going to create conveyancing matter. So for Mark Smith and he's doing a purchase of Brown Street. Okay, and we create that matter. Okay, now we go within our matter. I'm going to add Mark as the client. Now, Mark may have an issue. I'm going to create a file note. Okay. And then we're going to do a step change. So we're going to settlement complete. Okay. So now I'm just going to take you through the other applications and just show you what's happened there. So we have zero. And if I now look for Mark, Mark's here. Now Mark's email address has come across as well as his physical address and postal address. Now, if I look here at my MailChimp, You'll see that Mark's also come across into my MailChimp audience. Now, if I then have a look at my emails, Mark's also come across into my Outlook. So all that was done automatically. Now, also, if I have a look in my draft emails, there's a draft email there waiting for Mark, and we can see that there's actually an attachment. So I mentioned about a moving guide, and that automatically attaches itself. And that's ready to go. I can edit that how I like it. Add my signature and hit send. 
You can also have them automatically send. However, sometimes it's good to look at a draft. I can then have a look at my Teams channel and we can see that Mark Smith has his own channel and here is the file note that we added into Action Step. So these are just a few little examples just to show you the power of Zapier and what it can do. Obviously, really there's so many other zaps that you can create. So it's definitely something to have a look at. And just as another little side note as well, for those of us who like Teams, just to let you know as well that you can actually have an action step tab within your Teams and you can go directly into your action step from here so that we're not switching windows all the time as well. So I just wanted to highlight that. I hope you found this helpful. Do remember um, about Zapier and have a look and please let us know if you've got any comments or questions. Thanks very much.